ECOWAS is a rules-based organization. That is the most important thing. And that member states have signed up to certain obligations, which means they cede part of your sovereignty to the collective good. That is of ECOWAS. And I'm talking about there are various national constitutions which they must not flout and which the junta in Niger has flouted. And it is the ECOWAS instruments, in particular the mechanism and also the supplementary protocol on democracy and good governance. So all we are doing is to make sure that Niger gets back to rule-based governance in a, a sister country. That is all. The planning mission, we started on the 2nd of March, uh, of uh, August, has come to an end today. Has come to an end today. We've already agreed and fine-tuned what will be required for the intervention. The strategic lift capacity, what the strategic objective are, equipment needed, commitment of member states, which was very, very, very encouraging. All member states of ECOWAS present here today have all committed elements. They have committed their own equipment. They have uh, committed their own resources to undertake this mission. So I tell you, we are ready to go any time the order is given. The D-Day is also decided, which we are not going to disclose. There will be no more meetings of the Chiefs of Defense Staff. If there will be, it will be probably in the course of the operation if there is the need to adjust the operation. This is the second extraordinary meeting and the final meeting before deployment. That is what we want to you know, inform you about, and that as soon as our heads of state and government are satisfied with the report that has been presented, our uh, troops across the region are ready, and they are ready to call, uh, to uh, what is it, uh, respond to the call of duty of the region. We are not against the Republic of Niger. We have said, just as the chief uh, of the committee, the chair of the Committee of Chiefs of Defense Staff has just said, you know, that all the options are on the table. And as we speak, we are still readying uh, mediation mission into the country. So we've not shut any door. We've not shut any door at all. The sanctions are also uh, on the table. And uh, if they respond favorably, you know, to the request by the authority of heads of state for dialogue, we are ready to accept. All we are saying is that we are not going to engage in endless dialogue. It must be fruitful, and its objective must be the restoration of constitutional order in the shortest possible time possible, in the shortest possible time. We are also calling for the release of uh, the legitimate president of the Republic of Niger, uh, His Excellency Mohammed Bazoum and his family and members of his government who are being held hostage, you know, by the regime in Niger. This is our message, you know, to them, that our doors are open, but we are not going to engage in endless dialogue. That is why we say all options are on the table. If they want to take the peaceful pathway to uh, very early restoration of constitutional order in the country, then uh, we can stand down the military option because it is not our preferred option. But we are being obliged to do it because of the intransigence and the obstacles, intransigence of the regime and the obstacles they've been putting in the way of a negotiated settlement to the restoration of constitutional order.
we have arrived at our decisions which we are going to present to the ECOWAS Commission for implementation. As you are all aware, the military is just a tool for the government, for ECOWAS. And in this case, our reports will go into the uh, ECOWAS Commission for them to take final decision. Uh, we're not here to discuss what the plans are, but all we have to say is uh, we appreciate the ECOWAS Commission for the opportunity to sit as a group to deliberate in a very wonderful atmosphere. Our deliberations were sincere, they were fair, and they were considered based on the fact that we want peace and security to ensure within the ECOWAS region.